Welcome viewers, this is Team Gator. We're back for another episode of Brave Frontier. This is my global account, and this is one of my Brave Frontier tutorial videos. This particular video, we're going to be talking about potions, spheres, and everything else. Uh, so where that takes place is in your towns icon in the bottom. If you click on that, it will bring you to this screen here. And then here you're going to see um, mainly the two areas we're going to be looking at is uh, synthesis and uh, spheres. So you click on synthesis. And this menu right here pops up and this is going to tell you what you could make, uh, what potions you could make, what healing potions, what antidotes, tonics, holy water, stimulants, attack power, and, and the list goes on and on and on depending on you know the, the level of your um, your account so now how do you get these things how do you how, how do these things come up well you get them in your town and uh, you get them via the upgrade house so the upgrade house once you click on upgrade here um, you're gonna see synthesis right here and this will tell you right here what um, potions and uh, ores and seals you're able to make based on which one you level up. So right here, I'm maxed out, so I don't have any more to learn. But if you're just starting out, you'll see which ones you have to level up, right? And so you click on that, and those are the ones you're able to make. Okay, one second, baby. Um, and then it'll it'll show you which ones you could actually make, right? So now, let's go back to town and um, and just go over these really briefly on what they what they do. I mean, a lot of them are obvious uh, based on the description of the potion. So, you know, here you have your slightly replenishes um, hit points. Um, this one is a high cure, does more healing. Mega does more healing than high. Uh, Divi Divine Light does uh, like an AOE heal to your whole entire group. Light. And then Holy Light is another same concept, but it, you know, it greatly recovers all of your hit points for all of your team. Uh, antidote, if you're going up against poison enemies, um, antidote, it removes poison, uh, and all of these are self, pretty much self-explanatory. Um, as you go on to the um, the fire ores, these are important when you when you know if you're going up a, up against a specific element, you want to bring the element that it's good against, right? So let's just say, for example, we are going into a fire dungeon, right? And we're going to cover the whole elements explained in another video, but really quickly, Let's say if I was going into a fire dungeon, I would want to bring water seals, well, water ores rather, and and preferably have a water group uh, with me going into a fire dungeon because water is good against fire, right? So I would bring uh, some water ores and I would scroll down here and bring some water seals. So this is going to raise the defense powers of all water types by 50% for three turns. And the ore is going to raise the attack power of all water types by 50% for three turns. So there's just the, um, the ore and the seal explained. Um, and as you go on, you have a whole bunch of other things on here. You have, um, these are really, really nice potions. The, uh, the Fusion Potion, which basically fills up your BB gauge. Like if you're in a, a real need to heal up, you, you could level up. You, you could uh, completely fill up your healer's uh, Brave Burst gauge and um, he could get off a quick heal if needed. A lot of these, again, are self-explanatory. Just go through them. And these are only available to you as you increase your um, your level via the uh, the upgrade and the upgrades uh, tower here. Um, okay, so now let's just, let's just talk about spheres real quick. Uh, spheres are very, very important. Um, and here, as, you're, as you gain levels and uh, complete um, various dungeons via the vortex, they will give you spheres, new spheres. Um, they'll give you... Attack spheres, uh, health spheres, defensive spheres. Also, as you're leveling up in the um, arena, like every, I don't know, maybe four or five uh, uh, achievements or ranks, they give you uh, also spheres as well. So a lot of the spheres you see here, you will get via completing uh, various uh, quests or dungeons and or hitting a certain rank in arena. Uh, these are all, and a lot of them are self-explanatory. They're really, really useful. You really need to uh, try to capture or try to make as many spheres as you can to make your fighters stronger. Um, so uh, that is a brief tutorial on uh, potions, spheres, and pretty much everything else. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helps you progress in the game. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Team Jada signing off. 
Um, don't forget to favorite, like, share, and subscribe. Later, guys.